I'm Robert Scoble, and I'm always looking for uh, new ways to use cloud computing uh, to change businesses and change business models. You know, I grew up in the world where uh, I loaded uh, software off of a CD onto a Windows box or a Mac box, and uh, eh, those days are gone, and we're gonna see a, a little bit more about how much they're going right now with gopc.net. <laughs>
Now on your laptop, you're running uh, one of these virtual machines, right? This is running here right now. So, so this is actually running in Australia, and we're here in San Francisco. Yeah, it's a half world away. Uh, uh, it's a little slow, but if you're in Asia, in Australia, this experience is actually instantaneous. But one of the advantages is you have a 17 megabyte file that you're going to show me starting yeah, up. Yeah, so I'm, in fact, I've got, I've got virtually nothing at all loaded on this machine. I actually picked this machine up on Friday, uh, just before I flew out here. Yeah. Um, if I just go in here, and I built this machine, by the way, within a few seconds, uh, just before we turn on the cameras. Yeah. Um, I've got a 50 megabyte PDF file here, so if I was downloading that from Australia to here, that could take a few minutes. Yeah. On here, it's really opened up in seconds. It opens up right away. Yeah, I can go to the last page, page 762. Whiz back and to this the top. is despite having a sort of crappy internet connection <laughs> between your servers and our machine here. That's right. Because it's showing up instantly, and then it's just re it's yeah. just painting that, that machine, yeah, that it's, file it's, on it's, the It's screen. like thin, thin client technology, which has been around for 15, 18, 20 years now. Um, so and since that's not new, we, we're making use of that. The real smarts behind this are the fact that we're not really dependent on Microsoft any longer. We can do this with Linux free open source software. It's identical in terms of its functionality to a Microsoft PC. There's no license costs, and it's future-proof. It's completely freshly built every day. It's yeah. always the latest versions. And so I don't need to rebuild, uh, let's say this was a custom app written uh, for a Hertz rental car or whoever. Yep. I wouldn't need to rebuild this for the web and deliver it to the web no, browser, but right? This so is fact, a full-on... This uh, is full desktop, but yeah. it, you know, what we really think of ourselves as being is the platform. Yeah. And we can deliver web applications as well. I mean, one of the, the mail system we're running in here have been since 2006 is Zimbra, uh, which was taken over by Yahoo and, and VMware. Now, now, so we can host web applications. It's all single point sign-on. We can also connect with your, uh, with your mobile phone. So we have mobile phone apps as well. Let you connect to your storage or run applications as well. Yeah. So, and this will keep evolving. Uh, one of the really nice things about this platform is because we're using open standards, we can evolve at the very, very front edge of the industry. Yeah. If somebody else has some new technology, we can assimilate it with very, very small R&D costs. Now, I see this being useful for, uh, for uh, things that need to run mainframe apps or uh, the, you know, specific kinds of apps that still need the full-on Windows style desktop or yep. the full-on. And as you know, the Google Chromebooks get more interesting, and obviously we're getting tablets. I, yeah. I'm seeing tablets now coming down at a cost down to almost $40, $50 here right. down to this level. Um, so we need the ability to run older stuff um, still without you know, getting it into the web infrastructure. Um, how does this get charged for? How do you guys make money? So we're, we're experimenting with different models. Um, the current model is freemium. So it's basically free for anyone to line up, set up an account for themselves. And it doesn't matter who you are, you can be up and running within about 60 seconds. As soon as you can type in your username, you'll be up and running. Yeah. Um, after that, some of the applications we want you to try out so you can experience it, you know, some games and a few useful things like you know, memorizing your, uh, your passwords and things like this, they're free. We're trying to get you hooked. But then the high value applications, so like things like LibreOffice, et cetera, the accounting systems, um, we would charge for the hosting of those. So the applications themselves are free. We're not charging for the apps. We're actually charging for the hosting. That's our value add. Got it. And so we're looking and trying to get you up to around. Now, 10. what if Hertz Rental Car came to you and said that we want to replace all our Windows desktops and yep. put a custom app sure. on your on the cloud? Yeah, we can totally do that. And yeah. in fact, that's really nice. I mean, with one of the other beautiful things about this is it's a, being a platform. We can come up with new ideas, uh, whether it be a customer with a particular need or just a, another market, uh, and we can build those things within like they're complete new suites of applications. Yeah. Within hours now, what would have taken maybe two or three man years. Now, if I go on a plane with this laptop, it's not going to work because it needs internet connectivity to your cloud yeah, sure. to, to re. But of course, you know, we can, you know, I can copy my data off onto my phone, yeah. on my tablet, keep working on it, and then copy it back later on. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, uh, what else do I need to know? If you really got popular, how scalable is this on the back end? So we've, we've really scaled the back end properly. So we're running on an InfiniBand network, which has come out of supercomputing. We're using leading, really cutting edge uh, storage technology called Ceph, which can scale to you know, many, many petabytes, even exabyte scale uh, with linear performance. So we think we've got it right. Um, yeah. Linux is amazingly efficient, and there's a lot of incredible software. 
So we're making use of that, and our IP is actually how we actually hold this thing together and actually deploy it really quickly. That's cool. Mm. Uh, how, uh, how are you guys uh, funding your company? Did you have so, yeah. investors? Or? Yeah, so we, um, uh, look, I had another business which funded it for the first uh, few years, uh, probably had a million dollars worth. 2007, we raised a, uh, a small round of a million dollars, just over a million dollars, and that actually allowed me to move to San Francisco. Um, hit the GFC at the point where we were running out of money, and really hard decisions to make then, but we decided, look, we weren't desperate, we didn't have to sell our souls, so we've actually kept funding it ourselves. And we have probably to the tune of another few million dollars. In the last, um, just going live basically now, this is the announcement of going live with a new system now, this is GoPC Mark II. Yeah. Um, ability to give everybody their own personalized virtual machine is, is a dream I've had for years. Um, that we can deploy thousands of these now within minutes is, is unbelievable. Like, and it's not about hardware, this is actually about the IP of how we actually do this. So we're now looking for scale and, and really what we're looking for next is, is partnerships. Um, yeah. We will need some investment to go along with that and that's another again, reason why I'm here in Silicon Valley. So yeah, we're looking for the right partners. Cool. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, and uh, we'll be watching and see see if this uh, finds a market that wants to, to use it. You know, I, um, the average consumer company, I don't think, will use it, but I, I certainly see a back end system. Yeah. You know, like a Hertz rental car or an Olympics, or a, yeah. You know, because I like the Olympics is a good example. They have to turn on thousands of desktops, use them for a year, and then they tear yes. them down. And yeah. why why load all those desktops and yeah. have somebody going around with a CD ROM? Exactly. Makes no sense. You could have a system yeah. like this run. So in fact, what we have been doing is actually monetizing through small business. So anything yeah. up to a few hundred users uh, for a customer. Um, probably a larger size got about 400 users over 30 locations. So we can definitely have a niche there. I think smaller businesses are even easier to get. Um, the decision making cycles are pretty quick and they can actually just try it out and if it works, transfer the data up and just keep running with it. It actually works. Very cool. Where do I learn more about it? GoPC.net. GoPC.net. Thank you so much for coming all the way from Australia. Well, Thanks. you're here now, right? You're living here. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thanks, Robert. Cheers.